What's going on everyone? Welcome to our channel. We're back with more Xbox 360. This time, we have things on disc. Let's check them out. So the main focus of this video will be on games that had different releases with DLC on disc. Um, that's going to be especially relevant now that the Xbox 360 store has shut down. Uh, the good news though is that a lot of these are backwards compatible and they should be very affordable as well. Uh, you'll be looking at all of these each, you know, under $30. Um, some of them as low as like $10 to $15 as well. So um, they should not be too difficult to find. Um, they're not exclusive to the 360 as far as I know, but I primarily collect for that console. Uh, so uh, these are basically games from our collection. So. All right, so why don't we just go ahead and get started. So the first one I have here is Dragon Age uh, Origins Ultimate Edition. So this one came with uh, seven DLC packs. And I think this one actually was the Awakening was released as a separate uh, physical uh, disc as well. So it's kind of interesting, but um, I believe all of these um, you can still buy separately, uh, but why not just get this one, right? If you can, um, if you can get all the DLC and especially if you're starting out game hunting now or game collecting, you know, it might be worth uh, checking this one out. And uh, I I've seen this in stores and I believe a couple of years ago, I picked this up for like $5. I think they mispriced it. This one typically goes between 25 to 30. Um, so it comes with, yeah, this one is complete. Um, has like a thing in here for Dragon Age 2 and Mass Effect 2, but it has a manual and it has two discs. Uh, a lot of the ones I've seen, um, uh, I've come across, they have only one disc, so it almost looks like um, the install disc was not uh, part of it um, when they traded it in. So, But always make sure that it does say Ultimate Edition on here and it has two discs, because one of them is the, uh, the DLC disc, basically. So, But this one is pretty cool, and like I said, I see game stores misprice this one all the time, um, so it might be worth... Uh, um, looking for this one i'll show the standard one too just so you can see the difference so you know they're not exactly the same cover art but you know very similar so i guess i can see why uh <laughs> why they would misprice it at times but um this one's definitely good to uh get in the collection all right moving on here the next one we have red dead redemption game of the year edition and this one is I think between yeah 15 to 20 probably it was also re-released in one of those xbox one 360 i don't know what they're called you know it comes in an xbox one case uh, i don't really care much for them I, i'd much rather collect for the 360 like this um and it comes with uh, two discs it has the single player and then it has the um uh, the undead nightmare and multiplayer on the other one here and i'll show the other version here as well let me see, I think it comes with a map as well. Yep, it does. So it has a map, the manual, and that's how you can tell it's a different version here because it has the game of the year on there. Same thing with the discs. And then you have, I should have shown the spine on the first one too, but yeah, it says game of the year. Let me actually do that real quick before I move on. So the Dragon Age will say ultimate edition on the spine here. So if you're looking at the game shelves, at least you'll see that that's the uh, game of the year. Actually, I'll put them like this, I think, so I can stack them on top. So we, I have a couple of stacks here. So, um, so that's the Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year. And here is the Standard Edition. So again, I think this one also comes with a map, a different manual, which is really cool. Um, I feel like they put in a lot more effort into games back then. Uh, it's a different disc, as you can see here, just one disc. And then, uh, yeah. So that's just the standard one. And then I'll do, uh, I'll throw this one in too because you can buy this one separately. So this is the Undead Nightmare. I I'm willing to say that this is one of the best DLCs. Honestly, I think this one is amazing. Um, it also comes with a separate, you know, let's call this a zombie map, I guess. But yeah, it has a different map and a different manual as well. And then a different disc for just Undead Nightmare. So this one's really cool as well. It took me, a bit to find this one um, 
because they um, they have the platinum hits but I, I try not to collect the platinum hits I just go for the uh, for the black label so to speak right so this one's really cool uh, shouldn't be too expensive but for some reason it was hard to find this particular one so I'll just put that down here as well all right uh, next one here is uh, make sure I have the right one here next one is Grand Theft Auto 4 uh, and episodes from Liberty City. This is the complete edition here. Uh, I don't even think I've opened this one because I have uh, I have a couple of other ones here too. But this one's um, this one's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you look at the spine here. So Grand Theft Auto 4 episodes from Liberty City, um, and this one is I don't know how much this costs like new right now, but. I guess I must never have had a reason to open this one, but um, I'm not going to open it now though, but uh, I don't think I overpaid for this one uh, even many years back when I bought this, but um, it's cool though. Like I just went through my collection and <laughs> located these and I didn't realize it was still not open. I, I don't collect sealed games or anything, but um, as you'll see here for the rest of them, but, but sometimes I come across a good deal or a store just has it brand new for the same price as the used and I just pick it up I mean it's kind of silly not to in my opinion so uh, and here is the standard edition I think everyone's probably seen this one um, and yeah there's the spine this one comes with just one disc and then it has the manual and a map I don't think there's anything else in this one but uh, yeah, so that's the standard one. This one should be pretty cheap if you're looking for, if you don't have this in your collection, it should be pretty cheap. All right, let me put that one over there actually. So, uh, and then this one is just the DLC by itself. So Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City. So this is the Lost and the Damned and the Ballad of Gay Tony, uh, which, which I try to collect these two because they do have different discs. They do have different manuals. And I always like to have that in the collection, you know, even, um, even if I don't play this particular one or I'm guessing that I use this one instead of opening the other full complete edition. So I probably use this one for the DLC then. So, uh, but that's pretty cool as well. So you can see it's very similar. The spine is very similar to the other one. I think it just says and episode. So, you know, you never know. They might misprice these in the store too. So you might get a better deal on the complete edition for some reason, but yeah, always, Always check those things and, and never overpay for stuff like that, I will say. All right, next one is a game that should be very familiar to most people, but this is Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. I would say this is probably one of the first Game of the Year editions that I bought. Um, it is a pretty good deal. I don't think it's very expensive. So Borderlands Game of the Year Edition on the spine there. And then we have all four add-on packs plus a map. I think I have the map because it feels very thick. <laughs> this uh, this whole thing is like bulging out of the case. So it has the game of the year uh, disc here. And I think this is the, uh, yeah, all the DLC on this one. And I, I do like that, that you install the, uh, the DLC from the disc because you don't have to uh, have the disc in. You can just pop in the first disc and then you can just play it and um, you don't have to worry about licenses and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so we have the manual. I think this is, uh, I think, oh no, it's a different manual. Yeah, so Game of the Year Edition. Yeah, so this one's different. And then we have the map. I'm not sure if the regular edition, I guess we'll check that to see. Also, this one should be pretty cheap. Um, also has a Platinum Hits edition, which uh, like I mentioned, I don't really collect those. I try to get the, the first print on these, but yep, that's uh, that one. And here's one that uh, is, I mean, I wouldn't say it's kind of crucial to pick this one up since if you get the game of the year, you get all of this. But if you find this for like a couple of dollars, you know, and you're a collector, then why not? It's, uh, it's only the two of the DLCs on this one. So it's the, uh, the zombie island of Dr. Ned and then Moxie's Underdome, everyone's favorite, right? Like the, uh, <laughs> the whole horde mode stuff. So the spine is going to be different. The color on the case is a little bit different too and then the disc will be different as well so it's it's one of those weird ones that if you do buy it in the store i noticed when i bought this one the store clerk was just looking at this one i'm like what is this you know so they may not have been aware that they released a separate one 
but all I can think of is that this came out obviously before the game of the year and yeah, I guess that's how they did things back then. So uh, still pretty cool. You know, it should not be very expensive to pick up either, like I said. And then lastly here, it's just like the standard one. So nothing, nothing flashy about this one. I don't even think it has a map unless mine didn't come with it. Just one disc and then yeah, just regular old Borderlands here. All right, and speaking of Borderlands, we have another one here too. So Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition. This one, I love the cover on this one. Like I, I think just like uh, some of the others I've mentioned here so far, they have like a Platinum Hits too. Uh, but I want to get the, the original version of it. Uh, yeah, like I said, here's the Spine Game of the Year Edition. So it should be easy to see the difference uh, on the store shelves when you look for this. Um, let's open it up here. So this one has almost flew at me here. So this one has a different manual, which is cool. Uh, has one disc for probably uh, playing the game. And then the other disc for installing the DLC. So, uh, you know, cool that they made it a little bit different with the blue, blue spine and the blue case here, or the blue artwork, I should say. So really cool. And then I have just the standard edition as well, just so you can see the difference. You know, this one also should be pretty easy to find, but if you can find the game of the year, I would say I'd just go for that one. But I, I collect the standard edition ones too, because um, it was a while there. I just bought the standard ones, and then I started collecting for the special editions game of the year. Um, so I, I just like I like how they look on the shelf, and obviously you get DLC with them. So, But this one's pretty cool too with this with this text right here. So good memories, good game. All right. And then we have a couple more here on the first stack. And this one also should be <laughs> no stranger to anyone. Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion Game of the Year. So this has two DLCs on here. And also one of those, uh, yeah, Game of the Year on the spine here. This one did get a platinum one as well. So, I mean, that's pretty crazy that they got game of the year and also a platinum game of the year. So they sold <laughs> so many copies of the game of the year edition too, I guess. So, so let's open this up and it has uh, one disc here for the game. And I think the second one is uh, the DLC. It doesn't say that on here, I think, but yep. I think that should be with the DLC and like a lot of these RPGs, you know, come with a cool map and then the manual, which I think is just a regular manual, as we'll see here. So yeah, that one's pretty cool, and also took me... Oh, it's like, <laughs> the map is too big, I couldn't even close it. There we go, all right, there we go. All right, so there's that one. Also took me a little bit to find this one, uh, because of the Platinum Hits being, yeah, more prominent than this one, so you might... Um, might have more luck finding the platinum hits but i think the price is going to be the same for these and as i mentioned in the, at the start here it's you're looking at like 15 to 20 probably for that one and here's just uh the regular one so just a white artwork here uh other schools for oblivion on the spine i think this one has the same map unless i somehow ended up with two maps then uh, i have them in both i guess and then just one disc and then just that's that's that guy so yeah this one should be pretty easy to find if you're just starting out collecting and stuff like that all right and lastly on my first stack we have again <laughs> more elder scrolls so elder scrolls 5 skyrim legendary edition so this has three dlcs on here so it's dawn guard hearth fire and dragonborn so i think um this one of the games that I just uh, pulled out here, this one is the only one I think that is uh, not backwards compatible, but it shouldn't really be, <laughs> it shouldn't really be a problem to play this on newer consoles. They've re-released this about 20 times. So, uh, but if you're a collector, you know, definitely look for this legendary edition as it has. I think this one might be the one that has, one of them has like a really cool map. Let me just check here. This is just like a, a regular map I think but it has like a fabric map or something so yeah so either way so this one has uh, disc one and then disc two which I once again believe is the um, uh, DLC that you install 
And it also looks like this has a reversible uh, artwork as well, which I haven't, uh, I haven't done, but I should check that out. So here's that one. It's pretty cool. And then lastly here, let's just look at the standard edition of this one, uh, which is just the black. And then um, you have the spine here with Skyrim. And then let's open it up. Let's see if I can find that map. Oh yeah, so this is the nice one. It has like a fabric feel to it rather than just like a poster. Yeah, this one's really nice. So I don't know if this came from like a collector's edition or something like that. I don't think this is standard. So I may have just bought one that was from a collector's edition. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then just one disc on that one and then some dishonored artwork or uh, advertisement in the back. So yeah, so that's that Skyrim standard edition. So also should be pretty easy to find this one if you're just uh, starting out collecting. All right, we're gonna take a quick break here and then we'll move on to stack number two. All right, well, welcome back to uh, the video and stack number two. And hopefully if you made it this far, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of this kind of stuff, uh, we game collect, we game hunt, we do pickups. Um, and uh, if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing as well. We really appreciate that. All right, so let's move on here to the next stack. And the first game I have here is uh, Dead Island Game of the Year Edition. I think in some regions, like in Japan, this was called like Zombie of the Year Edition, which I think was actually a better name. They should have done that uh, over here as well. So this one has um, three DLC packs here. Uh, and this looks very similar. Let me do the spine here. So I don't actually think this one, no, it doesn't say Game of the Year on the spine here. So it can be a little bit misleading. So if you see this uh, in stores, uh, make sure to actually pick up the game and look at it because it says Game of the Year at the top there. And then the disc will also say Game of the Year. You might not be able to see the disc because not all stores uh, have the discs out, of course. But um, the manual is the same as the standard one. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit hard to tell on this one unless you actually pick it up because like I said, the spine, you can't really tell. Uh, and I think that this is the only one that I have. I, I bought this one. It also has like a Platinum Hits edition, uh, but I traded that in for this one. And then uh, I don't think I have the standard one of this. So yeah, so you might as well just pick this one up. It should be, you know, again, five to $10 maybe for this one and uh, not too hard to find, but just make sure that you, uh, you actually pick up the game and look at it. Um, uh, before, uh, yeah, before you buy the standard one without the DLC. So that one, that one would be worth it. Um, unfortunately, it's not backwards compatible though. Um, so, you know, you can't get the DLC if you decided to play it on the 360. Obviously that one also had like a definitive edition on newer consoles, but if you're old school and want to play the game in its original state, then, uh, then definitely get that one. All right, next we have Sniper Elite 3 Ultimate Edition. Uh, I spoke about this one, not this physical release, but in one of my previous videos uh, regarding the marketplace shutting down. So this has all the DLC. So there's like nine DLC packs plus yeah, story DLC and everything. So this one is uh, pretty cool. They also released this on Xbox One, the same edition. Uh, and then I think yeah, so this is also like a different manual and a different disc, which again, I love that they did that. Uh, instead of just uh, cheaping out and just doing the same manual and just like a download code. Uh, and you'll see that too with most of the games I've talked about today. Um, don't have download codes as far as I'm uh, concerned. So but yeah, this one's cool. And uh, one of the DLCs, um, I think you can play it, but you can't get the achievements unless you bought it digitally. So. It's a little bit weird. I don't know why, but, uh, but this one's either way, like good to have. This one is a little bit more expensive, I think too. So you're looking at probably between 20 and 30 for this one. Um, but I think the Rebellion games, and maybe they don't do many prints. So um, if you see this one, um, I would recommend getting it if you're a collector and you wanna play the game, of course. But um, I think the Xbox One version is actually more expensive than this one, so. Uh, but you know, it's uh, it's your choice there really so and here's just the standard edition very similar uh, It just doesn't have the ultimate edition. So uh, they, didn't, they didn't do too many upgrades on this one uh, So but 
It's also good to have if you collect. Make sure that it's zoomed in there, didn't go out of focus. I have too many games probably in the shot right now with all the, the, the backdrop too, but that is what it is. All right, actually, that one doesn't go here, it goes over here. There we go. All right, next one here is Dishonored Game of the Year Edition. And this one has a nice little slip cover as well. So I always like that if there's a slip cover, especially if it's in good shape. I try to pick these up. And this one, this one is cool as well with some extra stuff. Let's see what it says here. So it includes the Knife of Dunwall, the Brigmore Witches, the Dunwall City Trials, and Void Walker's Arsenal. And there is a poster in here as well, which I always love when you get extra stuff. Don't seem to get too much stuff anymore in these uh, guys. So yeah, there's like a whale poster, I think it is. I had, I must have like a couple of these, so they must not be uh, <laughs> too expensive, but I think I displayed this on my wall at some point. And then this one looks like it has two manuals as well. So it must be that whole one French manual and one English manual. Um, and yeah, it has the disc here uh, that says Game of the Year Edition. And then per usual, it's probably disc two that is like an install of the uh, DLCs. So, uh, you know, this was also released on, um, on Xbox One, like a de uh, definitive edition. But you know, if you're a collector, then you probably want to get this one here. So, great game as well. All right. Let me put this back in the slipcase so I don't lose it. All right, moving on. Actually, not moving on. Here's the standard edition. <laughs> Sorry about that. So Dishonored, uh, just the standard one. So that is, this was my first copy as well when I bought this. Um, yep, so again, just very, you will find this one everywhere and Platinum Hits and the whole shebang. So you will see this one everywhere. You, you will probably see the game of the year as well because that also got like a platinum hit so should not be difficult to find at all but definitely worth picking up i will say and especially since um since it's not backwards compatible just like the other two games uh, that i just talked about okay and moving on to what looks like another game i never opened so this is bioshock infinite the complete edition and this is this has i should say uh, Clash in the Clouds, Burial at Sea, Part 1 and 2. So really good DLCs. I know a lot of people uh, complain about how difficult the uh, Clash in the Clouds is um, in terms of completion and everything, but I, I thought it was pretty fun. It was a little bit different, something you don't really expect from Bioshock games, I guess. But um, And here we have the worst sticker in the world, this stupid Amazon sticker right here, which I'm sure everyone struggles with but if I ever open this then I obviously don't have to worry about it but yeah so I had never opened this one so I must have owned the DLC because uh, I, I think I bought this at launch and I probably bought the DLC and then I bought this later on for a good price so yeah but um, this one was also released on um, Xbox one same same edition I think it's called the complete edition so they probably just remastered or ported this one right here but fantastic game though, and it's backwards compatible, so uh, so really cool. And then here's just a standard one, or I should say the reversible cover one. Uh, I just did it for you know for the heck of it, and it's really cool. I mean the artwork here is much cooler than the uh, the regular one. So so yeah, this one's this one's great. Um, I started this one on the Xbox One. Actually, I gotta go back and finish it, but I did complete this one on the 360. And yeah, the Bioshock games I think are are phenomenal games so really good all right moving on we have saints row the third the full package and i actually didn't know I, I bought the regular one first and it looks like again another one i never opened um so this here on the spine so saints row the third the full package and it has all the dlc which um I had, I had a lot of fun with this game. I thought this game was, this was my first Saints Row game as well. So it's not gonna be like Saints Row uh, one and two, of course, they kind of started going in a different direction with this game, but I thought this was fun. Uh, I know you can play it in co-op as well and it's backwards compatible. So, uh, and the DLCs are fun too, uh, I will say. They did a good job with this game and obviously Saints Row, uh, um, 
went in a different direction, like I said, after one and two. Uh, and I've played most of those as well, but I have to go back and play the first one. Um, and here's just the standard edition. And I realized that when I, uh, when I pulled this out of my collection, it's a little bit beat up. So I definitely, uh, I guess I didn't pay attention to it back when I bought this, but it has um, just one disc here and then uh, the manual and then, yeah. So this one shouldn't be too hard to find either if you're looking for either this one or, um, or the full package. So, but you know, it is backwards compatible. You should still be able to buy it digitally as well. Um, okay, and then staying with Saints Row, we have Saints Row 4 Nation National Treasure Edition. This one also comes with uh, uh, DLC packs, like it looks like a ton of DLC, over 20 DLC packs here. Uh, looks like this is maybe the Platinum Hits. I don't know, it doesn't look like the Platinum Hits. Uh, so this has the National Treasure Edition on the spine. And then we see on the back here, also another one that I didn't open. Uh, so I must have gotten these in like a package deal or something and uh, and but I I played these um, Yeah, I own the DLCs probably digitally then so but nonetheless it's cool I don't see these very often. So uh, I think it's cool that uh, to have them in the collection still and Then here's just the regular one. I think there were a couple of different releases for this uh, So here's the spine just regular and then the back and then let's check the inside so it has the manual and the disc. So very much like the same front manual and disc is all the same. So yeah, there you go. All right, so that's just the standard one. But yeah, it should be pretty easy to find. And I believe most of the Saints Row games are actually backwards compatible. So they're still all available to buy very easily. Okay, a few more here. Okay, so the next one here is Batman Arkham City Game of the Year Edition. This one has uh, three DLC. Let me see if it's a Harley Quinn's Revenge. And it has, I think the, let's see here, the back here. Yeah, it's probably easier to see. So it has the Harley Quinn's Revenge, the Catwoman, Robin, Nightwing, and then some skins here in the challenge map packs, which are, I, I always love playing these, the map packs um the challenge maps are so much fun uh, just like the main game is but the challenge maps are uh, even the stealth ones the predator and then the combat ones they're awesome so yeah really good game and then here we have the manual here which um I believe looks we'll look at that in a second here so game of the year edition first disc and then it has a different disc with catwoman on here um with the dlc that you can install i believe so and i thought it was cool with this edition too it had and i also collect steel books and this one had like four different steel books which uh had like the joker uh the riddler catwoman and penguin i think so i only have one of them maybe i'll show that in, in a different video if i do a 360 um steel book or something like that a steel book collection but i always thought that was amazing that they have four different steel books based on the the different villains and stuff so. so there's that one and then just uh quick here just the standard edition of batman arkham city again it looks uh, looks different than the game of the year and then we have if we open it up i actually pre-ordered this from gamestop when it came out and i was so excited to play this because i'm a huge fan of arkham asylum and then this one came out and I pre-ordered it back when pre-ordering actually was relevant and fun. So now it just doesn't seem to matter that much anymore. So, but it has a yeah, different disc here and uh, front cover. So still cool, still cool to have. All right, the last two here, which will, I think be very familiar for most people, especially now with this hit TV show that just came out. Um, and that's Fallout. So this is Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. It includes uh, five DLCs, I think, uh, here. And then this is kind of the black label one. Let's see, Game of the Year Edition. And then let's look at the back here. And then open up this bad boy. This one also has like a Platinum Hits. Um, might be harder to find this black label one, or I don't know what they're calling, green label on this one, but the original print even on this one might be a little bit harder to find. And I know the prices on these have kind of fluctuated. 
uh, which is kind of odd because this has always kind of been like a five to ten dollar game. Uh, but pretty cool manual though, in good condition as well. And has the two discs and per usual, this would be the install. I think they're slightly different looking as well. But yeah, great game. I think this is my favorite Fallout game. Uh, but you can let me know in the comments, you know, once uh, once I go through all of these, like what's what's your favorite Fallout game? So this this is mine for sure. This was also my first Fallout game, so that could be that I have better memories with this one. But um, nonetheless, it has a pretty cool game of the year. Uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble finding it, but they might be uh, might have increased the price on these. Um, and here's just a regular one. And um, funny story about this too. I was in a game store not long ago and um, just looking around for 360 games and someone called into the store asking if they had Fallout 3 and if they could uh, uh, put it on hold for them. And I was like, I couldn't believe what I heard. Like people are asking <laughs> for this one to be put on hold because they're afraid that it will be sold out. That was crazy. So yeah, I've always gone to stores they have like 19 copies of this for like four dollars right so but good for them i mean it's a great game so i'm not going to complain but yeah it's a little bit crazy how one show can suddenly make prices go up like that so all right the last one here which a lot of people feel like this is the best one and that's fallout new vegas ultimate edition and this one has four dlc plus some weapons i think as well uh, this one I know has become a little bit harder to find, but I, I, they did release one of those uh, Xbox One 360 editions in the Xbox One case. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard to find, but if you want this particular one, it might be a little bit harder. Um, again, they have like a Platinum Hits as well. I know even, uh, even when I collected for this one, um, it took me a while to find this particular one. Has like a cool manual here. I don't know if it has a oh, it has a bunch of stuff. Okay, I guess that's not <laughs> game manual and just the ultimate edition manual. Okay, so I guess they did it that way. That's a little bit weird. They have like a paper thing just for for this edition. Uh, so here's the first disc, and then the second disc, which probably is the install of the DLC. But again, really cool edition though. And then uh, yeah, has the ultimate edition on the spine. And love the love the artwork though it's really cool. But it, it is a great game. But I still think for me that Fallout 3 is a better Fallout game. But um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Like I said, you know what is what is your favorite Fallout game? And lastly, here here's the standard edition. But I wanted to show this too because it has a pretty sweet uh, slip cover here, which I haven't seen very often. So that one is cool. So that means that basically the case here is in great condition as well let me show the spine so yeah a little more colorful i guess they went with a more orange kind of feel to it. orange and brown here i guess rather than green um yeah cool same manual it looks like uh, as the ultimate edition only one disc and then yeah here's the back case uh, back cover i should say yeah so cool um i think i had like like i said platinum hits of these and then i just decided i'm just gonna get the regular ones and then um, collect for that. Okay, so that was it for that video. I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.